if you are new here i'm ganitsi and if you're already watching this channel welcome back so i already made a video reacting to all one piece openings as a manga reader uh, it was pretty well received but unfortunately deleted from youtube because of the copyright claim so we're going to be very careful today showing you my reaction to all fairy tale openings as a manga reader so i read fairy tale like the original fairy tale from start to finish but it was quite some time ago like i was reading it while it was still ongoing so i don't remember it perfectly and i started reading the next fairy tale this 100 year old quest or something like that and i was pretty excited to meet all my favorite characters again but uh, to be honest i stopped reading it quite a while ago but i'm trying to find time to continue as far as i know this new fairy tale is still ongoing so anyway i'm very excited to see these openings i think i saw some scenes from the anime like in color uh, in images maybe maybe in gifs uh, but i don't think i ever saw like a single episode and definitely didn't see any of the openings so very excited to watch them let's go oh it sounds so magical right away this is the first opening i think interesting that's like the very first one hmm but the order they were shown in wasn't what i would expect though <laughs> i love her celestial spirits they're all great oh. okay so it represents her joining i think and then like her adventures with the guys hmm i guess this first opening was going on for quite a while though like Ersa, for example she wasn't introduced right away but here everyone is already shown like as a team of four okay a bit of natsu's backstory and <laughs> that's fine okay like the start of their adventures i liked it a lot but yeah as you notice there are no subtitles unfortunately so i can't know like the words the lyrics of the opening but that's the only version i found oh. the first one sounded super magical this sounds super fun like all they are doing are having fun so, oh, virgo damn i completely forgot about her i really liked her because i'm a virgo <laughs> that was lisa hmm. Okay, all the members and Luxus. I think some of their names changed like one of my favorite characters, Gajil. I really like Gajil and Levi. Yeah, but yeah, their names changed like while I was reading, maybe in different translations. So that's uh, the arc where she was uh, Lucy was kidnapped and we met Gajil. Hmm. I like how long it's been. Oh, happy! Okay, that's cool. Oh, that's a nice shot. It's just a really cool shot. So uh, that's when we learned of Erza's backstory, and yeah, I guess Julia also joined, and <gasps> Leo 
story. Yeah, that that's that's one of my favorite arcs actually, like the one that was showed where we kind of learned more about Erza. I think that's where it started that I noticed she always finished. Yes, in this exact clothes, she always finishes her fight. Like no matter how many cool armor she uses, in the end she still wins in this clothes. The most simplest ones. I love this suck. It, it it was really one of the coolest, and I love Arzelos. She's so badass. <laughs> yeah, that's basic. That's basically an opening like for this suck. You can see Jalal here. I think Jalal also was like translated in a few different ways. <sighs> so cute. They are all kind of similar though, like, so far. All the endings kind of... <laughs> have the same idea, the same pattern. I really like all the character designs in Fairy Tale, especially Especially anime designs, like Midnight's design is probably my favorite though. <gasps> but I have to say though, this song might be my favorite so far. <gasps> oh, that's a cool moment, yes. Yeah, I don't really like Luxus to be honest. Like, from his first appearance, I disliked him. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's when Wendy comes in, right? That's her? Oh, Chia? You can see Chia here, the best character. This goes on for quite some time. Hmm, does Grey have new clothes here? <laughs> Wait, is this? Oh, they're so cute. Oh. Yeah, you can see Midnight is here. Um, <clears throat> I was talking about earlier. Yeah, I think... I really liked this arc too. That was pretty interesting. I think the fights... Yeah, I like the fights here. And Wendy's story was also pretty cool. And then it was a cool twist, like with her girl. And I was happy to see another cute cat introduced. That was before I saw Fro, the best cat in existence. <laughs> oh. The camera work is pretty cool in this one. Hmm. Oh, this song is also nice. Oh. Nice clothes. Yeah. I think this one slays. <laughs> I really like it. Oh. 
they show quite a bit of the fights here. That's pretty cool. I think in the previous openings it was more like quick different scenes. Wait, was this? Oh, that was just for a second. I don't really remember the order of the arcs, to be honest. Okay, let's see what happens now. Is this? Like, do you remember when they entered this kind of parallel universe? Yeah. It was pretty cool where, like, everyone's personalities was flipped so to say is it around here somewhere yeah like see we we see Natsu with uh, Lezanne hmm wait was this Gildard he looks so handsome in anyway <laughs> or maybe maybe I mistook him for someone else Yes! Yes! How was it called? Ed Edolas? I loved this so much, honestly. It was kind of refreshing. Like, by this point, I was already going in the flow of the manga, but this was a very interesting change, so to say. And it was pretty cool to see everyone's kind of polar opposites. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. Okay. <gasps> That's a pretty nice beat, the Rock City Boy. Cool. It's kind of like we are getting serious music. <laughs> Oh, you can hear how he's singing Rock City Boy. <laughs> I'm trying to... Oh, I remember that... <gasps> that fight was pretty cool. Yes. Man, seeing these openings makes me want to go back and reread this ox. This would definitely be one of the ox I would like to reread. Also, Virga has pink hair here, right? right? That's pretty cool. I think I know all the color palettes of the main characters, but some might surprise me. so far, wait, is that the island? Hmm. Okay, that's wait, that's the first time we see the ref in the openings, right? And Connell's uh... Okay, maybe I just didn't pay much attention, but you can see like there's more impact on Kana. I think maybe around this time we found more about her. Yes! Isn't that... Yeah, like when they took that S-class exam. Yeah, and they... F yes! I remember this. Oh, that was cute. I really like some of the, like, relationships in fairy tale. I think they are established pretty strongly. Though, I have to say, like, the re relationships, like, not only romantic ones, but in general, are, like, a core theme of fairy tale, so to say. It's, like, all about not only friendship, but just our connection to other people. It's 
principle. Yeah, I just wanted to say I really like Gajal and Levy together. Okay, that was an interesting arc. Uh, this is after that island, right? Wait, this is Ramel? I think his name was Ramel. And we were kind of like stuck in time on this island or something like that. Wait. Hmm. Right. I think that's one of the longer fights in the manga. <gasps> they kind of show, they show that subtle connection, or maybe it's shown as a parallel Mavis and Zeref. See, everybody's holding hands. That's the idea. That's the core theme. I like this. Okay, that was a very interesting one. Ooh. The building looks so cute. The starting sky. Starting sky? Just like showing all the characters, yes, yeah, cool, yes, yeah, cool, and then suddenly <laughs> a very strange moment. <laughs> like I'm recognizing some of the characters. Yeah, because here kind of like, that's also interesting, like you can even have like main character Lucy and we have in you know, the main characters our, our group, but we still um, bring attention to other members of fairy tale, other characters. I think that's pretty cool, I really like it. Like it's all about characters, I think that's what made me read fairy tale until the end, because I got attached to the characters. Oh, that's that was a cool shot. She has a very pretty son. Hmm. <laughs> I'm always laughing when I see him. <laughs> like, but in the openings they don't show him in action though. Like his charisma. <laughs> There was a lot of Lucy in these openings, like... I remember some pretty cool Lucy moments with her spirits also, and her relationship with Aquarius was so cool, like very well written. But I don't remember like where many of these moments happened, like this guy, he died, did he? <laughs> Blue Pegasus. Um, how this? 
I think it was something like with mermaids. Okay, okay, this is a tournament, tournament, right? That's, yes, that's when the best character appears, Frosh. Frosh and so too, so cute. Yeah, I like the tournament. I really like the tournament. Again, it's kind of like taking the characters we love and <laughs> best moment <laughs> and putting them in some new environment, new circumstances. Not just like fighting new opponents, but something a bit more fresh. I liked it. There are a lot of cool walks in this opening. It's like just our character silhouettes, like walking in the doorway. I, I really like it though, like I'm not complaining. I really like these songs. Mm, that's pretty. So. That's still a tournament. I remember Rouge's name, but it was not a stink, right? Oh, she's very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> All the girls in fairy tale are very pretty. <laughs> also one of the reasons to like it. I like Gajil's style here. <laughs> it looks like a bit mustache. Oh, yeah, I remember like a f fun moment in this tournament was about the motion sickness um, of this, but uh, this drum slayers. But also, <laughs> I also related to it so much. I, it was interesting also to see like the other dragon slayers, and also, yeah, because I also have motion sickness. I like when characters have this similar weakness as I do. <laughs> so I remember this was a fun moment in the tournament with this. Okay. Now we're getting darker. Okay. Wait, are this about the gates? Was this around this part? Is this? Hmm. Mm. Oh, Jason. Another song that I really like them. I don't remember the cat girl. She, she's so pretty. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, that was a cool moment. Hey, hey. <gasps> oh, oh, that's so sweet. I love their relationship too. It's it's super sweet. Oh, that's a cool moment. It's like the end of the opening. Yeah, that's a cool way to end the opening. Are there endings too? Should we see the I I often like endings even more than the openings. I don't know why. Yeah, I think this is about the gates. Was it where like the future Lucy came into play? At what point are we? I think yes. And then the dragons appeared, right? This one is more like rap style. I don't really like it, to be honest. I mean, the song, the open, the, the visuals are... 
Ah, good. <laughs> okay, this pot is better. I think I just don't like this rap style music. Yeah, that's Lucy from the future, right? They remember this moment. Like, I won't let anyone to destroy her future or something like that. That was kind of a cool moment. Damn. I don't remember the exact wording. Oh. Again, a very nice final scene. Very fair. Oh, that was a nice scene. Like the sun. Okay, I like it. When in the openings they just show the guild and how everyone is just chilling, hanging out. Damn, that the town in color. Every... Just comes to life. Mm. Oh. oh, will it be like for every character? This sequence or not? Ah, oh, looks like not. Hmm. Oh, no, wait. There's one for Lucy too. <laughs> yeah, see, he suffers from motion sickness, dude. I get you. I wonder maybe he could take a pill. <laughs> it helps me. <laughs> like from motion sickness. <laughs> okay, so I really like Oh she's so adorable. Uh the sequences they made with all the characters. It's pretty cool. I really like it. Nice. That was a nice one. Pray call. Is this one of the more rock style? Yeah, he has nice muscles though. Big endless. <laughs> Whoa, pretty badass. Damn. Nice dresses. <laughs> Yeah, their relationship was a pretty troubled one, though. Break up. Hmm. <gasps> Damn, I remember this family. But I don't remember their names. They're all kind of like, you know, um, single chapters, kind of bonus chapters. Also, that uh, were pretty cool kind of expanding on relationships of the characters also. I think this family with the little girl was like, maybe in a few even like this kind of chapters. I really like them. They remem remembering their past, like who people who are important to them. They I like her hairstyle, them. <gasps> the hair girl. I don't remember her name. I really, really like her design. And she also had kind of nice chemistry with Lucy.
way they even say fairy tale in the song. That's pretty. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Never end tale. Okay. They don't show the ref very often. <laughs> because I think, like in One Piece openings, they really like to show in every opening, like the major major place, even though they don't appear in manga too much. But here. They don't really show like the ref or acknowledge like every freaking opening. They uh, appear very rarely. It's mostly like our characters, main events, some of the fights. Hmm. Hmm. Also, I think I kind of. Even though by logic I should remember later or end. <gasps> yes, that's that's the arc. Yes, a very a very important arc uh, about demons from the books of the Ref, right? There was a such a cool because we also saw in one of the previous openings kind of uh, Gray's father's face. And there was such a cool moment be between Grey and Julia and development of their relationship uh, in that arc where he felt kind of like his pos possessed father, how to say it. <laughs> okay, we are kind of getting more. Yes, yes. That's exactly like the thing I was talking about. So, uh, yeah, I was right. It was about the same time. <sighs> Remember this moment under the water? And he was like, why didn't you just use your words? That, that, that was romantic. That was romantic. Yeah. I thought, oh. But the thing is, I think I liked it. But I remember it so vaguely. I think in this arc there was was a pretty cool moment with Lucy. I think it was in this arc. I think this is the one I really should reread because I think there was a, I, I don't remember it well enough. Wait, that is separate. Hmm, how did they do it in the anime? Like, I think it wasn't like in the fairy tale manga itself. It was a different story, fairy tale zero. Mm, I wonder how they like put it in the middle of the anime, like oh. If this is just another opening, so they didn't make like a separate shot series for this, but somehow included it in the anime. I that oh, that's a good one. I wonder if there's only like yeah, that's probably like a separate opening for this zero arc, arc I guess. I guess this is a separate story. But I really like this one. Yeah, I remember this moment. Like the twist. Zara was her name, right? That twist was insane, to be honest. I I didn't see it coming. But then, like, thinking back on that, uh, it wasn't out of the blue, you know? It was, like, foreshadowed. Like, it, you know what I mean. Was I really liked that. The story was very good. And also made us like more familiar with Marvis and her feelings, her story. So it, like... <gasps> Wait, isn't that Car Carla? In <laughs> this is more like a f fun one, I guess, again. 
I feel like some of the openings are like more serious and dark and some are more lighthearted and fun. <gasps> Wait, this guy. Ah, he looks pretty cool. Wait, are we going kind of in this <sighs> Lumen Histoir territory? Like, we are nearing the end, right? <gasps> oh. That was Acnologia, right? Is this like the first time they showed Acnologia though? I didn't notice him in the previous openings, but maybe I just didn't notice. Oh, it's sweet. <laughs> that was a cool one. Not the favorite songs, song of them all, but I liked it. Oh, yes, yes, that's the, like the final arc. And I like how they showed like everything in the crystal set. That looks pretty cool. <gasps> she has green hair! What was her name? Brandish? I really like her. She's so neutral and that's what fascinates me. And she also has this power that I always imagined having. Yes, here she is. Of like changing the size of the things. Her sauce? Hmm. Might be one of my favorite openings. I like all the sequences here. They all look insanely cool. Remember that moment with Gajil? I, I honestly, I honestly believe that this is it. I was so sad. I should know better with fairy tale probably, but I guess I'm too naive. <laughs> okay, yeah, final stages, I guess. I also have to say, like, since we are nearing the end, I really like the rap. I think he has a very cool like personality, backstory, everything. It's just perfect. Oh. Yeah, I think maybe we saw Acknowledge in previous openings actually in Dragon's form, right? I think we only saw like his human form in the recent ones. I really like Juvia, but how is she not hot in this freaking hat? I always feel hot when I see her. Oh, this is very dynamic. I like it. Oh, yeah, remember that? Hmm. Yeah, that was also pretty interesting relationship here hmm. yes i think the final arc was also like the darkest one maybe of them all though i'm not sure And the relationship of Mavis and Zeref. Oh, I was so sad. Oh. That was a small Lucy. She was so adorable. Yeah, and I remember, like, there was a pretty long in a fight with Acnologia, with a ship, I mean, an airship. Actually, we didn't see Kana for a while. I know she doesn't appear too often in manga, but she's been a very dear friend of Lucy's too, and I really like her. She has a very cool personality. 
whoa i'd like to see this scene like the full scene in the anime hmm acknowledges design oh did okay i really like this moment um it kind of ties in the very beginning the very first opening uh, with the very last opening because in the first opening we saw this little fairy fly in and then in the very last opening we see like very similar looking fairy i would just say exactly the same one flying into this like star in the sky so it kind of goes <laughs> all the way around so to say concluding the story and honestly i have to say i was very happy when fairy tale has ended i was like damn like i finished this story like it didn't feel short it felt quite long and uh, i have to be honest and at some points i felt the story was getting a bit repetitive but as i said i really liked the characters so i wanted to keep reading for them and i really liked all the designs like our characters the um villains so to say and in the final arc it kind of got me excited again i'm like oh like the main story we are getting to the end and uh but by the very end by the final chapter when everyone was kind of going their separate ways so to say i felt um, a bit sad so i was also i kind of i was happy that i finished fairy tale but i was also happy when <laughs> it turned out there's another new fairy tale coming this 100 year quest um but and it was cool seeing all of them again like after a little time skip but maybe i should i, I will, sometimes i think like i have to go back to it and continue reading it but uh there's also this sweet feeling of like accomplishment when you actually finish the series but now i feel like huh my work isn't done yet <laughs> i have to finish them again but they're still ongoing as far as i know so <laughs> that was pretty cool i liked all the openings i feel like i can't really rate them because i felt they were pretty similar in a way i wouldn't say uh there was like something really that stood out to me i liked some of the songs more some of the songs maybe less there wasn't a single song that i hated i didn't really like that rap sequence but overall some of them just uh flew by unnoticed so to say like uh, they weren't as distinguished in my eyes so to say okay so that would be all my thoughts i think on the openings so share your thoughts on fairy tale openings fairy tale itself that it has to have endings too right are they cool maybe i should watch them too so yeah share your thoughts on fairy tale in the comments down below without spoilers of course thank you for watching and see ya mm -hmm.